So here we are in the breeding shed. Here's daddy's on their own. This is Stratus. And he's doing a fine job with his two little ones who are fat and sassy and not squawking at me right now, which is kind of strange. What personalities these two have? Beautiful babies. Um, the oldest one in there probably won't wander out of that nest for four to six days. Um, and that's why I like to pull them and put them in the fledgling cage inside. So uh, he's going to be in here taking up space for another, you know, four to six days. Um, here is Bubba, who I pulled his girl. Um, I don't know how he's going to be doing with this. Let me see. How is these little babies doing? I don't know. I don't feel too much happening there. Huh? I don't feel too much happening there. But I just pulled mom this morning. Sometimes it takes dad a little while to figure out what's going on. Um, but they're in good shape. They can stand a little weight. Um, and I can always put her back in again. Um, we'll see what happens. And down here we have Royal, who's been taking care of his babies for two or three days now. And they are fat and sassy little one. I mean, the bigger one um, came out into the nest yesterday. I made sure to come out and put him back in. I mean, came out into the cage. I put him back in the nest last night because it, it got cold last night. But the little one is so much younger that he's really, they're not ready to go stick in a fledgling cage, even though the oldest one is trying to fledge. So we're just going to have to wait for a few more days. See if I can tell what color this baby is. I'm still trying to figure it out. He is fat and sassy, that's for sure. Oh my goodness, I think I finally got my moth. Yeah, that looks gray, a kind of a steel gray to me. I don't know if you can see that. I think I got a moth. He's got a kind of a steely gray look to him. Maybe it's blue. That looks a little blue. He sure is taking his time letting me know what he looks like. Okay. Well, we'll see. I would love it if I had a moth. A double dark factor. Um, there's Blue and Cloudy. Looking very happy as a little pair. Let's see how many eggs we got. So she's out. Three eggs. Hey! Good job, little Cloudy. Um, the only other time Cloudy, now Cloudy's actually, her cohort is Bubba and, and, um, Bubba and, uh, Razzle, and, Lo no, not lying, Buzzle. so she's a year and a half old by now. I put her in here once before with Bubba, but I don't think they ever even bred, because all of her legs, eggs were infertile, and Bubba was trying to escape the cage the entire time. So they were just not a match. But uh, these two seem to be making a match. Um, I sure hope it's working. There's um, Sprite. His lady is supposed to start hatching eggs on the 15th. And today is, what, the 13th? So a couple more days. Um, there's a Storm, and I'm sure he and Azul are putting it together nicely. Um, I'm still waiting for something to happen with... Um, Hedwig. I don't think anything's hatched yet. I don't see any eggs, broken eggshells in there or anything. Um, but it's hard to say. And here's Sparky and Kelly with their uh, foster baby, who is a fat, sassy little one. This one is the younger brother and sister of Bubba's two babies and clearly a normal rather than a spangle. Um, and looking good. No more splayed legs or anything. Um, this is Vistus, and his girl, Luscious, has decided that she likes her nest box. However, he is getting his last um, treatment today in his water of ivermectin for his quarterly, um, what do you call it, uh, air sac mite treatment. And she doesn't need it because she already had it. So I put her inside for 24 hours, and he's a bachelor for a few brief moments. I'll put her back in tomorrow. I'm sure they're hating on me right now, but... Um, so they are looking like a good, viable pair. I'm loving it that she's diving into her box now. Um, eggs in probably 10 days or so. These two, this is Pie and Gray, and um, they're making their moves. Um, they're just a very involved pair. Um, 
acting like they're just deeply, deeply in love. They spend all their time together. Even when she goes in the box, Gray sits at the door of the box and talks to her. So. And that's her laying claim. My cage, my box, my man. And guess what? Kobe is a daddy. Um, so I have another um, um, cohort of, of pairs that laid eggs all at the same time. Coco started it out. Um, Lilith was second. And um, Hedwig was third. So um, now that Coco's got a baby, we'll be watching Lilith and Hedwig for uh, babies. Oh, and also um, the second batch of eggs that um, Fluffy laid should be coming up pretty soon, too. So we got a cohort of four pairs with nests full of eggs. Um, and that baby that... Um, let's take a peek. What the heck? It actually hatched yesterday, but I never count a baby until it makes it 24 hours. Oh, yeah. He's growing. Looking good. It's a little scrawny. But um, definitely going to make it. Now, uh, so tomorrow, the next egg should hatch. Yay! <gasps> Coco, you're a mama, finally! And these babies are going to be so beautiful. I can hardly wait. Okay, so that's what's happening in the breeding shed. We're just waiting and seeing.